The Aircraft Mechanic General Study Guide Aircraft Drawings What type of line is normally used in a mechanical drawing or blueprint that indicates invisible edges or contours? Medium weight short dashes evenly spaced. Refer to figure 27 in the isometric view of a typical aileron balance weight. Identify the view indicated by the arrow. 3. 1. A detailed drawing is a description of a single part. 2. An assembly drawing is a description of an object made up of two or more parts. Both number 1 and number 2 are true. Refer to figure 28. Identify the bottom view of the object shown. 2. A specific measured distance from the datum or some other point identified by the manufacturer to a point in or on aircraft is called a station number. Which statement is true regarding an orthographic projection? One view, two view on, and three view drawings are the most common. Refer to figure 29. Identify the left side view of the object shown. 3. A line used to show an edge which is not visible is a hidden line. What type of drawing line consists of alternating long and short lines of center? Refer to figure 30. Identify the bottom view of the object. 1. 1. Schematic diagrams indicate the location of individual components in the aircraft. 2. Schematic diagrams indicate the location of components with respect to each other within the system. Only number 2 is true. Refer to figure 31. What are the proper procedural steps for sketching repairs and alterations? 3. 1. 4. 2. Which statement is applicable when using a sketch for making a part? The sketch must show all information to manufacture the part. Refer to figure 32. What is the next step required for a working sketch of the illustration? Sketch extension and dimension lines. For sketching purposes, almost all objects are composed of one or some combination of six basic shapes. These include the triangle, circle, cube, cylinder, cone, and sphere. In a selectional view drawing, what sections illustrate particular parts of an object? Removed. What should be the first step of the procedure in sketching an aircraft wing skin repair? Block in the views. A simple way to find the center of a circle on a sketch or drawing or a circular piece of material is to draw two non-parallel chord lines across the circle and then a corresponding perpendicular bisector line across each chord line. 1. According to 14 CFR Part 91. Repairs to an aircraft skin should have a detailed dimensional sketch included in the permanent records. 2. On occasion, a mechanic may need to make a simple sketch of a proposed repair to an aircraft, a new design, or a modification. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. Working drawings may be divided into three classes. They are, detail drawings, assembly drawings, and installation drawings. What is the class of working drawing that is the description, depiction of a single part? Detail drawing. Sketches are usually made easier by the use of graph paper. 1. Sketches are usually made with the aid of drafting instruments. 2. Sketches are usually more complicated to make when using graph paper. Neither number 1 nor number 2 is true. What material symbol is frequently used in drawings to represent all metals? Cast iron. What is used to indicate that a surface must be machine finished? Finished marks. Refer to figure 33. Which material section line symbol indicates cast iron? 3. Refer to figure 34. What is the dimension of the chamfer? 0.0625 x 45 grados. Refer to figure 34. What is the maximum diameter of the hole for the clevis pin? 0.3175. Refer to figure 34. What would be the minimum diameter of 4,130 round sock required for the construction of the clevis that would produce a machined surface? 1 inch. Refer to figure 34. Using the information, what size drill would be required to drill the clevis bolt hole? 5 16 inch. The measurement showing the ideal or perfect sizes of parts on drawings are called dimensions. Refer to figure 35. Identify the extension line. 3. 
Refer to figure 36. The diameter of the holes in the finished object is one half inch. Zone numbers on aircraft blueprints are used to locate parts, sections, and view on large drawings. Which of the following terms is there used to indicate specific measured distances from the datum in or other points identified by the manufacturer to points in or on the aircraft? Zone numbers, reference numbers, station numbers. 3. In order to locate wing and stabilizer frames, what numbering system is used? Station numbers. One purpose for schematic diagrams is to show the functional location of components within a system. When reading a blueprint, a dimension is given as 4.387 inches plus 0.005 to 0.002, which statement is true. The minimum acceptable size is 4.385 inches. What is the allowable manufacturing tolerance for a bushing where the outside dimensions shown on the blueprint are 1.0625 plus 0.0025 to 0.0003028? A hydraulic system schematic drawing typically indicates the direction of fluid flow through the system. Refer to figure 37. The vertical distance between the top of the plate and the bottom of the lowest 15 64th inch hole is 2.367. 1. A measurement should not be scaled from an aircraft print because the paper shrinks or stretches when the print is made. 2. When a detailed drawing is made. It is carefully and accurately drawn to scale and is dimensioned. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are true. The drawings often used in illustrated parts manuals are exploded view drawings. A drawing in which the sub-assemblies or parts are shown as brought together on the aircraft is called an installation drawing. What type of diagram shows the wire size required for a particular installation? A wiring diagram. In what type of electrical diagram are images of components used instead of conventional electrical symbols? A pictorial diagram. Schematic diagrams are best suited for which of the following? Troubleshooting system malfunctions. In the reading of aircraft blueprints, the term tolerance used in association with aircraft parts or components is the difference between extreme permissible dimensions that a part may have and still be acceptable. Refer to figure 38. An aircraft reciprocating engine has a 1,830 cubic inch displacement and develops 1,250 brake horsepower at 2,500 rpm. What is the brake mean effective pressure? 217. Refer to figure 38. An aircraft reciprocating engine has a 2,800 cubic inch displacement, develops 2,000 brake horsepower, and indicates 270 brake mean effective pressure. What is the engine speed? RPM. 2100. Refer to figure 38. An aircraft reciprocating engine has a 2800 cubic inch displacement and develops 2000 brake horsepower at 2200 rpm. What is the brake mean effective pressure? 257.5. Refer to figure 39. Determine the cable size of a 40 foot length of single cable all in free air with a continuous rating. Running from a bus to the equipment in a 28 volt system with a 15 ampere load and a 1 volt drop. Number 10. Refer to figure 39. Determine the maximum length of a number 16 cable to be installed from a bus to the equipment in a 28 volt system with a 25 ampere intermittent load and a 1 volt drop. 8 feet. Refer to figure 39. Determine the minimum wire size of a single cable in a bundle carrying a continuous current of 20 amperes 10 feet from the bus to the equipment in a 28 volt system within allowable 1 volt drop. Number 12. Refer to figure 39. Determine the maximum length of a number 12 single cable that can be used between a 28 volt bus and a component utilizing 20 amperes continuous load and free air with a maximum acceptable 1 volt drop 26.5 feet refer to figure 40 determine the proper tension for a 1 8 inch cable 7 by 19 if the temperature is 80 f 70 pounds refer to figure 40 determine the proper tension for a 3 16 inch cable 7 by 19 extra flex if the temperature is 87 f 
125 pounds. Refer to figure 41. Determine how much fuel would be required for a 30-minute reserve operating at 2,300 RPM. 25.3 pounds. Refer to figure 41. Determine the fuel consumption with the engine operating at cruise 2,350 RPM. 55.3 pounds per hour.